Hey there guys, so our new story starts when the abyss formed on top of a town, the area where abyss forms connects this world to the demon world. The deeper the connection the powerful demon comes to this world, and this time it's formed at the critical depth of 12, so this time a lord was summoned who started the massacre on the humans. And the old man who was regarded as the strongest was about to dive into the fight, so he brought Noel to an underground shelter where he'll be safe. Old man was planning to hold the demons back until Empire's reinforcement arrives, but Noel knew Empire is not sending any help, Noel was concerned, but old man told him his given title is over death. So nothing will happen to him and left Noel to fight the demons all alone by himself, and the bloody fight ended with nothing but ashes behind, everyone on the surface died, and Noel saw his grandfather was cut in half, but he kept himself from dying to see Noel for the last time, he was one of the best seekers. So death naturally follows them every day and now his turns has come, that's why Brandon asked Noel again if he still wants to be a seeker, and without a hitch, Noel said yes. So Brandon tells Noel to promise him that he'll become the strongest seeker in the world, and with that promise, Brandon leaves the world. Brandon Stolen was the strongest seeker who once defeated the Lord Summon from the Abyss level 13 in his prime and obtained the name over death. And soon after two years passed and Noel joined the party of seekers, he ordered Lloyd and Walter to attack while orders Tanya to provide support. His order works well but Noel is of the weakest class of seeker, a talker, it's a support class and the one they defeated right now is called a lesser vampire class, because of their lower class. They are unable to use magic, and the queen is the main body that reproduces them in a very short period of time, which is why Noel warned them to be on guard because these things are still powerful. And unless they cut off their heads, these things will not die, so instead of killing small fry, they should just kill the main thing, but Noel rejected the idea, it's a C-rank mission for them. And killing small fry first will grant them more success rate if they fight the main body, all in all Walter didn't like the idea but can't go against the supporter who casts buff on them. Walter started to taunt Noel for being a talker and a support class, this class only has the power to cast buff on their team and can't fight on their own, that's why it's a ridiculed as weak. But a demon from above released a gas right in front of them and Noel was the closest to it, Lloyd tells Tanya to help him but the monster got her as well. At the time, Noel was in the fog, so the party was struggling without buffs to fight this one. So Walter calls out to Noel, and his talker class awakens and he shoots the thing with his gun, it's the only way a talker could fight, so Noel used his skill to boost his party with his order. Then used battle voice to increase the recovery speed of the party, then asked Tanya to cast barrier, and Walter and Lloyd started to beat that thing, but there were more on the roof. So Noel used another support buff to calm Tanya and set 74 seconds to take care of them and he went after small fry to let others deal with them and orders other three their attack pattern and stuns the small fries at the same time. Then he used his silver fame to shoot ice bullet, it got two of them and there's only last one left. Noel had such precise calculations that he predicted the exact time of attack and used another buff on others, so Walter and Lloyd got the main body. And the small fry stopped just an inch away from stabbing Noel, once the main body died, Small Fry stopped as well, but it was a reckless plan. Noel remembers how his grandpa encouraged him when they found Noel had talker skill, saying that he takes after his mom, she didn't have seeker skill but Noel does. So he's going to raise him to become the strongest, he believed in him, and Noel still dreams of becoming the strongest, they are in the capital of the Velnet Empire. This empire is developed in magic and equipment and has the most abyss appearances than other countries, so the capital is always in constant danger, and that's why Seeker becomes their savior. And our Noel became a Seeker when he turned 15 and came here, this party has a warrior, healer, swordsman, and a support, so it's a well-balanced team. But Noel still needs experience to achieve his dream, Walter saw the gloomy Noel and thought bro was worried because of payment. So Walter advised him not to be greedy because his grandpa would say the same, but his grandpa said the exact opposite, he instead told Noel to prioritize the money first before anything else, still. Noel kept his calm and Tanya sides with Noel, but the alcohol has gotten through his thick skull, so Noel taunts Walter that he's right. So Walter said that he's just a talker who hides behind and gives orders, so instead of getting angry, Noel sees how Walter thinks of him and admits he's useless compared to the great warrior Walter. So things got serious and Lloyd had to step in to stop them before they really started fighting, but both Lloyd and Tanya are a couple and Walter seems sour about it, anyways. 
They splits their reward and after cutting through everything, they saved a very small amount for each, Lloyd was still optimistic, but Noel tells him they are not in a clan. So they rarely get nice missions. More so, clans handle all the abyss tasks, so if they fail they have to pay a penalty, they had saved 12.8 million as a party and Noel thought of using it to make a clan. They need a total of 20 million, so Noel offers to give this savings to make up for the remaining amount, but they still need a place to make a base and Noel had it covered. But they were still lacking experience, and Noel said there's a first time for everything kids, not literally, and if they won't do it now they'll always remain newbies, Noel has knowledge of clan. Plus they are young and good looking which helps them getting big and nice paying jobs, looks are also important for seekers, the more great their skill is the more people get attracted. But they need to be good looking as well, but it's like selling their own selves yet Walter was in, he wants to enjoy his life with women and money. Tanya didn't like it so Walter asked if she would become his women, that's stepping out of line, and then Noel asked Lloyd to give out his share of saving, he will quit if Lloyd disagrees. So hearing this, Lloyd agrees to form a clan, but for now he asked to continue this chat tomorrow to rest, so Tanya called Noel while he was leaving but said nothing, something was fishy here. And then the next day, Walter